out here, pump the clutch, right? Turn the, oh, oh, ain't got nothing. I got power, got power, but we ain't turning over. What's up, people? It's the Prelude Dude, and you know what? Thankfully, I made it back to the house, and you know, now I got it jacked up in the air. We're gonna get started on taking that starter, and since I got that, I got a suspect ground wire, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that off too, and that's gonna get replaced. Uh, but I'm gonna test the starter before I replace that, because it could just be the ground, and if I can get away with only spending a few bucks, I'm gonna do that. With the battery out now, I got a light thrown up there so you can see a little better. Um, right up here, this top bolt for the starter is a 14 millimeter. Uh, that thing is, is a real short bolt. And down here, this guy is pretty long, got a long shank on it. But that's a 17 millimeter head. Sorry, it's not a very good view, guys. Um, but yeah, so I've already broke those loose. I just got to finish taking them out the rest of the way. Um, but when it comes down to the electrical, it's a 12 mil to take off the, the actual cable there. And then for the signal wire... That actually plugs in, uh, let me show you, uh, right down here. Meh, get out of the way. It's actually like right in the way of it. Anyway, so there's a little spade terminal right down here that this wire connects to. Uh, that's easy to pop off as long as it's not all corroded and whatnot. So I knocked that off easy, got the power cable off, and I've taken off the ground wire. Now I just need to finish removing the starter. And then we'll go get that tested, all that jazz. Yeah, buddy, that's an OEM Honda starter. So either that's the factory one with like 188,000 miles, or it's been replaced at the dealer, uh, or, or something of that magnitude. So I'm not exactly convinced that this is bad yet. Uh, I'm going to get it tested and find out, because look at this ground wire. Look at how frayed and how Midwestern corroded that thing is. That thing is brutal. Back from the parts store, uh, believe it or not, that starter tested out okay. Um, it passed like six different times on the tester, so that's pretty sweet. It just, I'm going to clean it up a little bit. Nose cone has a crap load of grease on it, stuff like that. I'm just going to clean that up. Um, so at any rate, it kind of leaves just this cable as the real problem. So I picked up a little bit to replace it. I picked this guy up. The, the secondary ground coming off this is real thin, so I picked up one that actually matches the gauge of this wire here, because you know I assume if they put it at this gauge, they did it for a reason. So I got the ground cable set up the way I wanted to. Uh, I used this little 12 inch cable as my secondary ground coming off here. I just did it off the side post. I just kind of bent it so that when I tighten that, it'll sight, you know, kind of tighten up real nice in there and not have a gap. And then some of you are probably wondering where the bottom one is. And if you look down there, you see that hex head there and where the cable's coming down into it? That That's where the new cable's coming down. I cleaned all that up with a wire brush before I actually put this back on. Um, and what I ended up using was a 25 inch cable. That's the closest one I could get at the parts store that was, you know, already had a terminal pre made on it and all that. But at any rate, this wasn't too bad. It's a quick, easy fix for the most part. Um, I really shouldn't say it's a fix because I haven't got the starter back on and made sure that's the problem. But we're going to get the starter on now. Uh, as you can see, it's still missing its way from its home. Uh, I'm going to get that in there, got the cable ready, so literally just need to get that starter in there, throw the battery back in, and we'll fire it up and see what's going on. Alright people, so there you have it. I got it all put back together, got it fixed. And you know what, this just goes to show you that if it's not starting, don't just blame the starter. You know, there's, especially if the, the vehicle's got some age on it. You know, this thing's uh, 23 years old, so, you know, it's, it's seen some things, you know. The grounds, that ground was terrible. There was maybe half of it holding it together, and it was all green from corrosion. It, you know that's causing crazy resistance. That's no good, you know, so 
let this be a lesson for you guys. Go check out your grounds. Make sure they're all squared away. I actually found I do have another one that's pretty green and pretty nasty that I'm going to replace too. Uh, but, you know, that's for another time. She starts again. So I'm going to be on the road down my way. All right. Thank you all for watching. If this video was helpful, go ahead and hit that like button and let me know. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do that. You know, we got plenty of videos to keep you entertained. I got burnouts, you got how-to videos, you got hanging out car vlog style, plus many more to come out, you know, and I'm going to throw up my social media here. Feel free to hit me up with any ideas that you got that you want to see me do, you know, in the future. And in the meantime, till next time, I'm Dan, the Prelude Dude. We're the parts, guys. Thank you again. I'm out.